Hey there. Well, it's been more. It's been years since I've done one of these, and so uh, I guess it's time to be back. I'm gonna try to keep these uh, short, three to five minutes for the most part. I guess I better set my timer here. Uh, the uh, what we're gonna talk about is the Word of God, and the thing is, the Word is the perfect weapon against the, the devil. You know, you uh, we got a lot going on in this world right now. People scared of COVID-19, uh, which uh, you know. There's really, if you understand the word and you activate the word, there's no reason to be scared because if you're a believer, if you believed on Jesus Christ as your Savior, you know, it, the, the secret of the gospel is Christ in you. It's not Christ up there, up in the clouds, or trying to call heaven down and those kind of things. The secret is Christ in you, but you may have never activated Christ in you because you've been told well, God's in control, if God wants this, if God wants that. I mean, stupid, stupid doctrines, you know, out there. And uh, the truth of the matter is he's given you his word to activate it. You know, if I have a sword sitting here on the table and I never use it, you know, somebody comes in and or what have you, or, you know, a lot of you guys use handguns, you know, if you've got that handgun and, and uh, you have it to protect your family, but you never use it in the point of in the point of crisis. You never pull the thing out. Well, whose fault was that? It's your fault. And I know that's a hard truth to look at. But you know, sickness. John ten ten says that you know it's the evil one that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life and life more abundantly. You know so. The thing is, we have to activate the word in our life. It's an equal opportunity word. You know, he, he, you can decline to use it or you can use it. He's not going to force his will upon you. But the thing is, if, if, if you have an issue, if you, if you got, uh, uh, it's, not, it's not God's fault. You know, 2 Peter chapter 1 says he's given us the opportunity to participate in the divine nature. You know, that all the precious promises are there by operating under the correct knowledge. You know, that he's given us everything pertaining to life and godliness through the knowledge of him and his son, Jesus Christ. And the thing is, you know, it's God's will for you to be well. Yeah, that's right. It's absolutely his will, you know, for you to be well. You know, we have a ministry of reconciliation as Christians, you know. We reconcile men's spirits back to God. That's called salvation. We recognize men's minds back to God, their souls. That's called deliverance. And we reconcile their bodies back to God. That's called healing. The thing with healing is, is it gets us beyond theories. You know, either, either you, you see it or you don't. And the thing is, I will tell you, the problem is never on God's side of the equation, which that's good news. The gospel is nothing but good news. This is not a condemnation message. This is a great message because if, it's not, if, if, if you don't see the power of God working in your life, the thing is, you know it's not God. It's a knowledge problem. You know, Hosea 4, 6 says that our people, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Not that my people perish because of a disease or because of a co of, of COVID nineteen or or what have you. No, you're operating under the wrong knowledge. You have probably conformed your mind to the way the world thinks. Even though you're a believer, you sat in church maybe your whole life, uh, but you probably sat under preachers that have, are conformed to the world as well. Oftentimes taught right out of seminary, that's conformed to the world. And so the power of God is available for you. You know, he loves you. You know, God, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And that he sent his son not to condemn the world but to save it. And in those times, you see all those miracles, you know, that, that uh, Jesus went out and he destroyed the works of the devil. Well, it's Christ in you. That's the mystery of the gospel. It's Christ in you. It's Christ in you. It's Christ in you. Now the question is, what are you going to do with it? 
You got the most powerful force in the universe. As a believer in Jesus Christ, you have the most powerful force in the universe living in you. I don't care about what your pastor's doing, what anybody else is doing, what, what's, how, how's it impacting the world around you? We have to get courage and confidence to understand that. I know we are inundated with unbelief. You know, if I want to hear unbelief, oftentimes I just have to hang around Christians. Well, you never know about God. Yeah, you do. He said exactly what he said, and he's bound himself by his word, and to do anything different is, would make him a liar. And he's not a liar. But the fact is, it is a, it is a huge arrogance for people to go, well, yeah, must not have been God's will. I, you know, I fought that thing, you know. Oh, so it's his fault. To think that, that, that we did everything perfectly, and so it must be his fault. We did everything right, so it must be his fault. That is the true definition of pride right there. Humility believes the word and does it. So that's a quick five minutes right there. I think our time's about up. Yeah, a couple minutes. Anyway, God bless you. Equal Opportunity Word. Jump into it. Dive into it. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.